Meow, everybody. Here's an amateur take on DeepMind's new generalist AI model, Gato. Let's take a look at what it is, what it can do, what does it mean, and how might you be able to use it, as it's just been released this month in May 2022. And Gato, I, my wager, uh, as for what it means, is perhaps generalized agent tokenized object. Let's see what that can mean. So. It's making a lot of waves online because it's touted as this generalist AI. In other words, as the DeepMind paper puts it, it's a multimodal, multitask, multi-embodiment generalist policy developed by DeepMind. And it's basically a transformer model trained on 604 different tasks, all tokenized, uh, trained using supervised learning, with a fairly small parameter set of only 1.18 billion parameters compared to something like GPT-3, for example. And it has a memory uh, with a context window of uh, 1,024 tokens. It does remember what it does. So we see different kinds of training going in, text, Atari images and discrete actions, images from the world, proprioception and continuous actions, and then images and questions into batched input tokenization then uh, into the model. And what can it do? Well, out of those 604 tasks, it apparently manages 450 with an expert score of over 50%, which is fairly good for uh, this kind of new approach. And the tasks that it did can be split into language tasks, vision tasks, and real-world tasks. So here you see text, uh, analyses, and descriptions of images. Fairly, fairly accurate, you know, going some distance. And here are some images from their paper on uh, robotic arm actually learning in a virtual environment, how to stack things, and then operating in the real world to be able to stack a tower. Very exciting. And of course, what's generating even more buzz is claims that this might be the way unlocking our path towards artificial general intelligence because it is so general. So what does this mean? Well, Nando de Freitas, the lead author on DeepMind's side, is certainly very bullish about the case, essentially seeming to say that intelligence is now solved, a done deal, and it's just a matter of scaling up. And of course, lots of technical hurdles and devil in the detail will exist in this space. But here, in his tweet, he says, it's all about scale now, the game is over, make the models bigger, safer, compute efficient, faster at sampling, with smarter memory, more modalities, and so on. So if we started with 1.18 billion parameters, perhaps we'll rapidly get to a trillion parameters and then a quadrillion parameters, because if you look at DeepMind, and as well as the broader AI space, the pace just seems to be frantic at the moment with multiple major models coming out, you know, one month uh, in between the releases. On the other hand, we also have David Fow from uh, DeepMind saying, I genuinely don't understand why people seem so excited by the Gato paper. They took a bunch of independently trained agents and then amortized all of their policies into a single network. That doesn't seem in any way surprising given what we know about transformers. So maybe it's not so revolutionary after all, despite managing to, managing to succeed at a great variety of tasks, having been specifically trained for that. Indeed, this is also what Oliver Lemon from Harriet Watt University says, these models do really impressive things. However, a lot of the really cool examples you see are cherry picked. They get exactly the right input to lead to an impressive output. Well, looking at the scale analysis of the model, there is some credence to be put on Nando's take, Nando de Freitas's take, where if you look at the different parameter uh, scales, you do see this significant and noticeable scale up in the mean normalized score here. Suggesting to us, of course, that were the models to be bigger and bigger and bigger, this score will only go higher and higher. So it's going to be very interesting to see where this leads, and I'm sure efforts will be put in this space. How do you get to play with it yourself? Well, it's just a proof of concept now, so keep your eyes peeled. The architecture may be used by others too. I'm seeing a little bit of buzz in this space. And as mentioned, DeepMind are releasing new things at a very fast pace right now. 
so you might not need to wait very long before you can plug Gato into your preferred machine of doom or whatever you might want to do with the generalist AI uh, at the 2022 level. And there you go, that's as much as I learned about it. Uh, exciting developments, cool to keep a little bit of an eye on the space of course, many things happening. What do you think? Is this a big milestone? Will there be much use for something like Gato? What will we see next? Will scaling up make tremendous uh, differences? And very fundamentally, is the path now pretty clear towards artificial general intelligence? I'll add some links to the video notes uh, on more informed people and their takes so you can continue to learn more. Thanks for watching.